We are starting today's show with a spotlight of one local man who is mastering art behind the hammer. Blacksmithing is the process of melting and manipulating metals into beautiful pieces of art. And one Missouri man has gained his name to fame by doing so. Malik? That's absolutely right, Mary. Pat McCarty is amazing when it comes to taking metals and just, just turning them into the most beautiful pieces of art. I mean, he makes leaves, snakes, and so much more. You guys gotta check out this story. For some, blacksmithing may be a dying art. If you watch uh, Forge and Fire and some of these different shows on TV, it's, it's a, making a big comeback right now. Pat McCarty here got into blacksmithing 40 years ago when he wanted to build a home of his own. But I wanted it to look like a barn. And so I wanted those big, long, wide strap hinges on it. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just make my own. It'd be real easy to do. <laughs> but... It wasn't near as easy as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty difficult. After years of trial and error. And I draw it out in a square cross section. And many years of school. And I was able to make those hinges and get my house done. So it, it does kind of look like a barn. And uh, I enjoy the openness of it. But that's what got McCarty into blacksmithing. And once people found out that I could do blacksmithing, and you have a lot of log cabins in the area that are being restored. And so I made lots of those hinges for different houses door handles and latches and uh, shutter dogs and just any kind of things that would kind of be uh, attributed to a log cabin. From there, McCarty grew even more to soon getting invited to festivals and events. Like for picnics and, uh, oh, um, I don't know, there's one down in Labadee, Bastille Days, and all these festivals would like to have a blacksmith at them demonstrating. And McCarty does a great job of demonstrating. So we take uh, iron mostly, and uh, it's a very hard, unforgiving metal, but it can be shaped into a lot of different shapes once you get it hot. 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit type of hot. And that high temperature allows me to heat the metal fast so I don't have to stand there all day waiting for it to get hot. And it becomes very soft and you can shape it with tools. You can't touch it. It's kind of like working with clay, except you don't have that personal touch to it. So most of your work is done with a hammer on an anvil and that allows you to push that metal and pull it and shape it into any shape that you want. McCarty has made a wide range of art from large snakes to even small leaves. I like taking an ugly old bar of metal. It could be rebar, it could be uh, uh, just an old signpost or just any kind of metal that I find and I can turn it into a beautiful little leaf. Or whatever else McCarty's mind desires. And best believe, if scrap metals ever present themselves in a scrap yard or even a bridge. You can bet I'm gonna pull over and ask for some metal off that old bridge. <laughs> He's a good guy, man. All the information that you need is gonna be right there on your screen. Be sure to screenshot that. You can check him out in all places and even Check him out uh, on social media there. So uh, Mary, oh my goodness, it's amazing. And I was just talking to Joe here. Joe's son actually does blacksmith work as well. So I'm gonna get them connected. Oh, no kidding. Wow, what an incredible hobby to have. <laughs> I mean, it does not look easy at all. Malik, a fantastic story, but I know